Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Excel tutorial, we are going to understand the syntax of formulas in Excel and how we can use the formulas to add, subtract, multiply and divide. So basic operations. So there are some functions available within Excel as well. And then we'll understand how to form your formula to perform these basic mathematical operations. So let's get started. So the first thing is, say for example, you want to add two numbers within Excel. So the formula within Excel or always starts with equal to sign right so you say equal to in the cell where you want to say for example I want to add some numbers and then followed by the bracket and if you want to add two numbers say for example I can hard code these two numbers as well right so I can say 45 plus 45 so it will work like a calculator right so and it will give me the result as 90 now this is one of the you know like very basic way but this is not advisable this is just to show you that this is how you are going to do now actually what you will be doing is you will be either doing or referencing to the cell where the value is so that if say for example this value changes to 50 the sum should reflect here as well right so it should not be like I have to go back and change the values again here so it should be dynamic so how we can achieve that so instead of doing this 45 plus 45 what we need to do is we need to basically reference the cell where these values are so equal followed by the bracket and select the cell the first cell so I'll select this cell and then plus sign and the second cell right so I want to add the values that are there within these cells close the bracket hit enter and it will give you the sum of these two values now if I change something here to 50 the sum will be reflected automatically now the second way say for example there are lots and lots of number right so I want to add all of these numbers okay so and want the total here so what I can do is I can write a formula here because I I want the total in row number seven and I can simply say you know one uh, the the value in a2 then plus right and three and then you know plus the four so I can keep doing that and it will give me the value or the sum of the values right so I can let me quickly type five and then all right and now I'll get the sum here in this row number seven in this cell here okay a seven now this is not you know very good approach if you have to sum large numbers so there is a you know a function available within excel and function will help us to basically add the range of cells right so say for example here I want to add the range so the function to add all the numbers here so there is a function sum and and followed by so you just provide equal to and the, the name of the function followed by the bracket and select the first cell okay and then left click and drag and drop till wherever you want to have that values as so you'll see now it is referencing the cells from a2 to a6 and it will give me the sum of the values of the values that are there within a2 and a6 right so if I hit enter I'll get the same result right so this is basically how you are going to add the values in Excel right so multiple different ways and I'm just covering to show you the possibilities right so you can use the function and you can use the you know normal cell referencing you using the plus sign okay and if I am to copy this formula here right to other cells I simply say control C on my keyboard and then select wherever I want to copy I'll select left click and select all of those and then paste the formula there so it will paste the formula along with the referencing for that particular row right so you'll see now it is adding six and five in this particular column here now how to subtract the values right so say for example I want to subtract number one uh, or number two from number one so same way so equal to and then in the bracket we select first cell followed by minus sign and then select second cell and bracket closed enter right and it will give me the subtraction of two numbers okay similar way similar way I can just drag and drop right so I can either copy and paste or in the right hand side you will see this little icon appearing when I hover my mouse here so just left click when you see this plus sign and then drag and drop and it will basically copy all the formula in the lower cells as well right so now it is basically subtracting the values from number one to number two and uh, the sum or the subtraction is being displayed here now to multiply it's absolutely simple so equal to and then cell of the first or cell of the first value then followed by the multiplication sign which is this asterisk and then the second cell okay 
similarly to divide equal to followed by the bracket and the first cell which contains the first value okay followed by forward slash which is the divide sign and the second cell reference which is which contains the second value and then bracket closed and hit enter right and it will give me the divide if i have to drag this formula to all the cells below this to calculate all these addition subtraction division and multiplication then I simply hover over in the right hand side here and just drag and drop when I once I see this plus sign drag and drop till the end and it will give me the division same thing here I'll drag and drop and it will give me the multiplication of the values that are here in column uh, in cell a5 and b5 right so if we hover over this formula you'll see that it is multiplying a5 and b5 okay so this is basically how you are going to do basic mathematical operations within excel very helpful and this will be really helpful when you have big set of data and you want to sum or there will be lot of functions that will be covering right so as of now we have covered you know very basic operations and a function or a sum function for addition right so here we haven't used the sum function but here we have used the sum function right so similar to sum function there are so many functions available within excel that we'll be going ahead with and learning in the advanced tutorials now uh, the other important thing i want to mention is as well say for example there is a value here in 40 you know in one of the cell here then there is you know another value there and there, then there is you know another value this is not all in line so can i add these values or subtract or multiply right so yes i can do that so say for example i want the sum of these values here so i can say i can use the function as well so i can say sum and then select the first cell okay then comma separated when you, when i'm using function i can use either comma separated or range but range you can use only if you know you are having a range of cells either in the column or the rows but these are scattered cells so i i'll use comma separated and then press control select the first cell press control select the second cell and keep control pressed on your keyboard and press the third cell right bracket closed and you will see that it will give me the sum of the values that i scattered there to get the difference or subtraction same thing i'll say equal to and then followed by the bracket select the first cell press control and then minus press minus right because we are subtraction then and why we are doing it here because we don't have we don't we are not using any function for subtraction right so in the sum we had used this function right so that's why here we have to use the minus sign for multiplication we are using the star sign and for division we are using the division or the forward slash sign okay so that is why we have to basically use the sign to subtract the values right so we simply say equal to the first cell then minus second cell and minus third cell right so that's how we are going to basically so even i think even if you don't yeah i think i noticed one more thing so even if i if i start with this function right or the formula then i select the first value then hit minus i can select the second value right i don't have to keep pressed or control pressed it automatically detects that i'm writing the formula so it keeps that selection right and then select the second by your mouse okay so that's that's one of the thing that i noticed so just wanted to update so hit enter and you will see the subtraction has been basically displayed here for these value right so similar way you can go ahead and practice multiplication and division as well but mostly we'll be using the functions available within excel and we'll be doing a lot more advanced stuff with the functions within excel so that's basically for the basics of the formulas within excel and how you can add subtract multiply and divide within excel that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching